guys, it's Lori. Good morning. Okay, so today is VLC 29, and this morning I was down 0.2. And I am cool with that because yesterday was 0 0.8, the day before that was 1.2, and I'll take that 0.2. You better believe it. <laughs> so I'm going to go seven more days. I decided I'm just going to do my LIW and Connie does hers. Me and Connie are really good friends and uh, we chat every day. So, um, yes, I'm talking about you, Connie. So, anyways, we've been like this, round buddies, through this whole round. We chat every single day and we're both going strong. And so, yeah, I'm just going to do my LIW when she does hers because I didn't really have a day set you know, an amount of days that I was going to do. So just for the fun of it, I'm just going to do my LIW when she does hers. So there you go. Seven more days. Um, my MacBook seems to be fried. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I'm not getting my, um, notifications and stuff. I don't, I, on my app, on my phone, I don't get notifications and comments and I have a Kindle that I'm using too that I don't get any comments on that app either, the YouTube app. So, and if I do, I don't know where they are. The only way I know of to see if I have comments is to actually go back to all my videos. The chances of that are pretty slim that I'm actually going to do that. So if you have, if have commented and I haven't replied, it's because I haven't seen it. But. I am trying to go back and look through to see if I have any comments. I did figure out today that, oh, guess what? I can actually go to the desktop version on my Kindle. <laughs> and if I go to the desktop version of YouTube, it does have my notifications on there. So if I do that, <laughs> you know, it's just that that's not something I normally do. But I'm going to try to remember to do that because if you comment, I reply. And um, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to cover that real quick because there was a comment on there that was posted three days ago that I just saw this morning and, and I did reply to it but I kind of want to touch on that subject of what that comment was about um, the no sugar no starch thing that I talked about when I did that p3 video well um, let's see what was the question is does that just mean low carb well not necessarily yes and no I mean when you go to p3 if you do Atkins induction you're gonna be golden Seriously, I mean, that, that'll work really well if you just go into Atkins Induction, you know, just look that up online, follow the list, follow the rules. It'd be great. Um, when I say no sugar, no starch, <laughs> I'm talking about looking at your ingredient list as opposed to the nutrition label, like the nutrition info versus the ingredient list. That's, that's the important thing, looking at the ingredients. Like... For instance, I'm going to put in a couple pictures. I'll take some pictures when I get home, and I'm, I'm going to insert them so that you can see in a picture, you know, get a visual of what I'm actually talking about. Um, for instance, shredded cheese. Take shredded cheese, the bagged kind. Um, it's, it's going to have little to no carbs, but if you look in the ingredients, it's going to have starch in there. I guarantee it. It's going to have starch in there because that's what keeps it from clumping together, I guess. I don't know, but it's going to have starch, or yeah, starch is in it. And so it's better just to shred your own. You know, buy the block cheese, go to the Dollar Tree, spend a buck on a little shredder and shred your own, you know and on the other side of the spectrum there's the Ezekiel bread it is not low carb I'll show you that too if you look in the ingredients you'll see no sugars no starches but it digests differently because it's a sprouted grain. So I add that in P3 
and I have never had an issue. I don't add it in the first week, but I just, I've never tried, so maybe I'd be okay with it. Maybe I'll try it this time, just to see. I'll do that just for you guys. I'll try, I'll try adding it, but that doesn't mean it'll work for everybody else, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much, but yeah. Um, another thing is tomato sauces, like um, the marinara that I use. I'll put a picture in. Okay, if you look on the nutrition information, it has carbs. Thinking, wow, that's a lot of carbs. And it says it has sugars too. It does have sugars, but, but if you look at the ingredients, it doesn't have any sugar added to it. The sugar you're seeing on there comes from the tomato. The tomato is a higher sugar content fruit or vegetable if you must but that's where that sugar comes from there's no sugar added that's what you want to look for you can have that in p3 you can have it so you know if you're following the Atkins induction and you're following their carb rules it might not fit into your plan for the day that's where logging your food comes in to be a really important thing too so yeah um I guess I just kind of wanted to touch on that real quick and uh, all right that's it for now see ya I'm back I'll show you a picture of me and my both of my daughters. I have five kids, but I'll show you a picture of both of my daughters since you got to see my other daughter in my last video. The one was an accident that was Courtney, and my other, my oldest daughter's name is Brooke, and she's Hayden's mom. And my little granddaughter's mom, Anahata, is her name. Anahata. Yeah, it means heart chakra. We're into Reiki and stuff, so. Anyway, I'll show you a picture of us, me and my girls. And my granddaughter. <laughs>